Corsio with topvelocity.net, and I'm down here in southern Louisiana at my baseball academy uh, called Gorilla Baseball. You can check us out at GorillaBaseball.com. That's Gorilla like Gorilla Warfare. Now I'm going to talk about separation and triple extension. Uh, if you've read any of my articles online, more than likely you've heard the word separation. Separation uh, happens at the point of front foot strike. When that front foot lands, we got to make sure our back hip is through and our shoulders stay back. So when our hips are open and our shoulders are closed, they are now separate from each other, shoulders to hips, and we have what I call core torque, the tightening of our core. Now that's important because not only does that increase velocity, but that takes stress off the arm. Because if we don't have core torque and we don't have good separation, then that means our back hip and our back shoulder are going together. So they're going, they're in sync. And then when that happens, we don't have that core torque. So we wind up pulling our arms back to generate torque so we can have more time to build momentum and, and generate velocity to the target. So we've now put it in our shoulder. So I don't know, putting a torque in a big muscle group as opposed to a small muscle group is a lot more intelligent, makes more sense um, than, than doing it the other way around. So because these muscles, the bigger muscle groups, potentially can be more explosive, more powerful, and can handle a lot more stress than the smaller muscle groups. So it just makes sense and it works. Now, how do we achieve that separation is the question. A lot of coaches would say you can't coach separation, and I don't think that's true, because probably a lot of them still think we throw with the arm. This mentality is not we throw with the arm mentality. This mentality is we throw from the toes to the fingertips. We throw with the total body with, with uh, the mentality of separation and triple extension. So triple extension comes in to separation because it's the key factor that creates it. You can't have good separation without good triple extension and the back leg. Now, knowing the, the most important part once we learn triple extension and separation is when do we drive or extend off that back leg? That's very important because if we extend too early, then it's too hard to keep our shoulders back. If we extend too late, then we wind up keeping too much weight back and we can't get that weight forward over our front leg. Now, the perfect timing for using triple extension is at the load position, or what I call the load position. So it's after you've lifted your leg and your hips are beginning to go to the plate. So that would be the point of after the leg lift, right as the hips start to go and all the weight is on the back leg. Now that's the point right there, right where we can't load anymore or we're going to fall over. That's the point of triple extension. So we want to lift, load, and extend. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to fire the hip through, which makes it easier to keep the shoulders back. That's also going to give us more momentum into the front leg that we can transfer into the ball, and it gets us closer to the plate. So there's a lot of wonderful, great things for pitchers that come from this back leg as we extend that back leg. But you got to know when to do it. So it's the load. So practice the load. Lift the leg. As the hips go and the leg comes down, keep the weight back and let the hips go. And then when they can't go any farther, you want to extend with that. I like to keep the chest up, tilted back, because that helps me keep my shoulder back as I'm firing that hip through and building that core torque. So just getting in position, getting in the, in the separation on the mound is something you can do. You can just start off and go, all right, that's good separation. My hips are open, my shoulders are closed. I feel the torque, the tightening. All right, now try to land there. Come set, lift the leg, load, and extend 
land with a strong front leg, shoulder back in separation. And that's a good way to practice and tr train and try to learn and feel, develop the muscle memory of good separation and knowing when to fire and extend, triple extend, the back leg. So thanks for listening. Uh, I'm going to keep coming at you with some more stuff here at topvelocity.net. So keep checking back and uh, uh, wish you the best out there on the mountain.